Hello, and welcome to Introduction to Algebra. In this session, we're going to go over variables and mathematical models. So what is a variable? A variable is a letter that represents a variety of different numbers. Here is an example of a variable. The variable x is equal to the number 3. Or what this means is that the letter x represents the number 3. Another way you can think of this is that variable is a code word for a number. So let's say Johnny Appleseed gave you these symbols. Well, on its own, you wouldn't know what it meant unless he also gave you a decipher, a list of what these symbols represent. For example, the sun would represent the letter A and that spades would represent the number N. So then you could go through and start to decipher what Johnny is saying. You can um, you can substitute this snowman for the letter. So you know that the snowman represents the number H. So then you can start to decipher what Johnny is saying by substituting the symbols for the letters. So if you substituted the first word, you know that Johnny is saying hello. And then if you decipher the second word, you'd find that he meant hello world. So a variable is kind of like a code word. So in this example, the letter X is a code word for the number 12. An algebraic expression is just a combination of variables, numbers, and operation symbols. So here's an example of an al algebraic expression. Here we have the variable x, we have numbers 6, 3, and 4, and we have the operations multiply, subtract, and add. So now we want to know how do we evaluate an algebraic expression? Well, the first thing we do is substitute the code word for a given number for the variable. And then we're going to perform all calculations inside the parentheses. Then we're going to multiply and divide before we do any addition or subtraction. Let's do an example. So in this example, we're going to evaluate 6 times x minus 3 plus 4x. Now they're telling us that the code word for x, the variable x, is 5. So the first thing we're going to do is decipher this by replacing the letter x with the number 5, anywhere we see it in the algebraic expression. So let's write 6 times x or 5 minus 3 plus 4 x or 5. Now this is something we're familiar with. We can go ahead and do perform uh, any operations in the parentheses first. So we have 6 times 5 minus 3 is 2 plus 4 times 5 is 20. Now we have 6 times 2 is 12 plus 20. Well, we have 12 plus 20 is 32. So our answer is 32. And if we replaced 5 in the algebraic expression, 6 times x minus 3 plus 4x, what that really meant was 32. 
Now, algebraic expressions can also be written in sentences. Here's an example of an algebraic expression. 2 less than 3 times a number. Now, we can also translate algebraic sentences into algebraic expressions so that we can solve the problem. So how do we do this? Well, anywhere we see the words plus, sum, more than, or increased by, we know we're going to add. And anywhere we see the words minus, difference, less than, or decreased by, we know we're going to subtract. When we see the words times, product, twice, or multiplied by, we know we're going to multiply. And anywhere we see divide, quotient, ratio, or divided by, we're going to divide. Let's do an example. So here, in this example, 2 less than 3 times a number. How do we translate this into an algebraic expression? Well, we know that 2 less than means we're going to subtract. So we can subtract minus 2. And here, we know 3 times a number. We know that times means multiply. So we can write 3 times a number, and that number can be a variable, so x. So in this algebraic sentence, we know that 3x minus 2 is the same as saying 2 less than 3 times a number. Let's do another example. The product of 4, well, we know that product means multiply. So 4 times a number, well, that number can be a variable. So we can put x increased by, well, we know that means add. So plus 6. So here we have 4x plus 6 is the same thing as saying the product of 4 and a number increased by 6. So what's an equation? An equation is a statement that two algebraic expressions are equal. So in this example, we have an algebraic expression 3 times 3x plus 5. We have another algebraic expression 10x plus 10. And what this is saying is that this algebraic expression is equal to this algebraic expression. And the whole is an equation. Solutions of an equation are values of the variables that make the equation a true statement. So in this example, 3 is a solution of the equation 4x plus 6 equals 6x. So if we substitute x for 3, this algebraic expression will be equal to this algebraic expression. So how do we determine whether a number is a solution of an equation? The first thing we're going to do is substitute the number for the variable. Then we're going to evaluate each side of the equation. If the values on both sides of the equation are the same, then the number is a solution. If the values on both sides of the equation are not the same, then the number is not an equation. So let's do an example. Here they're asking us, is 3 a solution of the equation 4x 
plus 6 equals 6x. So the first thing we're going to do is substitute x for 3. So 4 times x or 3 plus 6 equals 6 or x times 3. Now we're going to see if this side of the this algebraic expression is equal to this algebraic expression. So 4 times 3 is 12 plus 6 equals 6 times 3 is 18. So now 12 plus 6 is 18 is equal to 18. So yes. So yes, 18, this algebraic expression is equal to this algebraic expression because 18 is equal to 18. Let's do another example. In this example, they're asking us, is 5 a solution of the equation 3 times 3x plus 5 is equal to 10x plus 10? So is this algebraic equation the same as this algebraic expression? So the first thing we can do is substitute 5 for x. So 3 times 3 times x, or 5, plus 5 is equal to 10x, or 5, plus 10. Now we can go ahead and do everything inside the parentheses. So 3 times, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 5 is equal to 10 times 5 is equal to 50, plus 10. Now 3 times 15 plus 5 is equal to 20 is equal to 50 plus 10 is 60 now 3 times 20 is 60 is equal to 60 so yes this algebraic expression is equal to this algebraic expression so 5 is a solution of the algebraic e equation 3 times 3x plus 5 is equal to 10x plus 10. A formula is an equation that expresses a relationship between two or more variables. So in this equation, we have the variable m and the variable n. And the equal sign is expressing a relationship between the variable n, m, and the variable n. So m is equal to 0.2n plus 12. And in this example, this formula is saying that the algebraic expression or uh, the variable w is equal is has a relationship with the variable n so the variable w is equal to negative 0.4n plus 39 mathematical modeling is a process of finding formulas to describe real world phenomena so how do we create a mathematical model? Well, the first thing we're going to do 
is gather statistical information. We're going to come up with a formula that describes the real world phenomena. We're going to assign meanings to the variables. And then we're going to come up with a formula that needs to describe the relationship among the variables. Let's do an example. Here it's asking us to create a model that describes the time each week that men and women spend to housework each year after 2010. Well, we know that the formula m is equal to 0.2n plus 12, or men spend an average of 0.2 times each year plus 12, and that women, or w, spend an average of negative 0.4n each year plus 39. So let's say, let's find out how much time each week that men spend to housework each year after 2010. So we can write men equals 0 0.2, let's say five years, plus 12. Well, m equals 1 plus 12, or men equals 13. So they spend an average of 13 hours each week after the year 2010. Now let's see how much time the women spend each year after 2010. So we know that women equals negative 0 0.4 n plus 39. Let's say we want to know how much time they spend after five years. So w equals negative 0 0.4 times 5 plus 39. So w equals negative 2 plus 39. So w equals 37. Though, so women spend an average of 37 hours each week committed to housework each year after 2010. That sums it up. Um, go ahead and check out our workbook. We have an example that works through each of these problems. Thank you.